Ricky Gervais brutally criticized Hollywood actors and explained why he has a big conflict with them. According to Gervais, Hollywood actors are destroying America, and there are behind-the-scenes processes that people should know about celebrities. Gervais also made fun of Hollywood actors and exposed the lies and false narratives that they are trying to push. This is a very interesting story, so let's explain it. So three days ago, before the UK's general election, Ricky Gervais posted a humorous video in which he pretended to be a wellness influencer, sarcastically telling people how to vote in the upcoming UK general election. In the video, he jokes that if people don't vote the way he suggests, it's like a hate crime. It makes him sad and angry, and he will leave the country, which they wouldn't want. Ricky said, Hi guys, Ricky G here, wellness and beauty influencer. As a celebrity, I know all about stuff like science and politics, so trust me when I tell you who you should vote for. If you don't buy it the right way, that's like a hate crime. That makes me sad and angry, and I'll leave the country. You don't want that. And this conflict between Ricky Gervais and Hollywood started 14 years ago. That's when, in 2010, he hosted the Golden Globe Awards for the first time. During the show, Gervais made several bold and controversial jokes that upset many celebrities in the audience. For example, he joked about famous actors' personal lives, such as saying that many of them only went to rehab to boost their careers. He also poked fun at Hollywood's obsession with plastic surgery. One of his most talked about jokes was about the film The Tourist, starring Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. He suggested that the only reason the movie was nominated was because the Hollywood Foreign Press Association wanted to hang out with big stars. Many Hollywood actors, plus the New York Times, criticized Ricky Gervais, noting that while his opening jokes were mostly mild, there were some inappropriate remarks about celebrities. However, outside of the major publications, opinions on Gervais were more positive. TMZ.com enjoyed his jokes, especially those about Mel Gibson, and found his performance overall hilarious. Best Week Ever agreed, praising his jokes about Gibson and noting that Gervais was making the audience laugh a lot that night. They described his humor as causing a record number of laughs, or LOLs in internet slang. And in the last few years, Ricky Gervais's conflict with Hollywood got even worse. For example, at the 2012 Golden Globe event, halfway through, Gervais mentioned the rules he was given by the event organizers, including not talking about Mel Gibson, his personal life, politics, recent movies, and especially not Jodie Foster's movie, The Beaver. Gervais joked he hadn't seen it, and when Foster gave a thumbs up, he added that many others hadn't seen it either, but that didn't mean it was bad. Foster seemed less than happy. Gervais began with a joke about NBC. Tonight you get Britain's biggest comedian hosting the world's second biggest awards show on America's third biggest network, pause. Sorry, fourth. Later he joked about Kim Kardashian. The Golden Globes are to the Oscars what Kim Kardashian is to Kate Middleton. A bit louder, trashier, drunker, and easier to buy, allegedly. He also took a jab at Justin Bieber. Then in January 2016, Ricky Gervais hosted the Golden Globe Awards and sparked more conflict with Hollywood actors. During the show, he made several controversial jokes that upset many people in the audience. One of his most talked about jokes was about Caitlyn Jenner. Gervais said that while Jenner had done a lot for transgender visibility, she didn't do a lot for women drivers, referring to a car accident Jenner was involved in. Gervais also targeted Mel Gibson. He joked about Gibson's past issues with alcohol and racism, bringing up old scandals. What does it even mean? Referencing a past incident where Gibson used the term during a DUI arrest. These jokes made many in the audience uncomfortable and led to more tension between Gervais and Hollywood actors. While some people found his humor bold and funny, others thought it was too harsh and inappropriate. This event added to the ongoing conflict between Gervais and the Hollywood community. And then it happened in 2020, the most famous Golden Globe ever. On January 5th, 2020, Ricky Gervais hosted the Golden Globe Awards and delivered a very controversial monologue. His jokes were sharp and critical, targeting various Hollywood actors and the industry itself. This created a lot of tension and sparked conflict between Ricky and many of the celebrities present. Ricky started by mocking the event and the Hollywood elite. He said that this would be his last time hosting because he doesn't care anymore. He made fun of the length of the show and urged winners to quickly accept their awards and leave the stage. His blunt and irreverent style set the tone for the rest of his monologue. He targeted specific celebrities in his jokes, 
For example, he joked about Felicity Huffman, who had been involved in a college admission scandal. He said, I came here in a limo tonight and the license plate was made by Felicity Huffman. He also made fun of Leonardo DiCaprio's habit of dating younger women, saying, Once upon a time in Hollywood is so long that by the end, Leo's date was too old for him. Ricky's direct and harsh jokes did not sit well with many actors. Some laughed uncomfortably, while others appeared visibly annoyed or upset. His monologue highlighted the divide between his outsider perspective and the Hollywood insiders, leading to a noticeable conflict during the event. At the end of January 2020, after the Golden Globes, Tom Hanks became a meme when a photographer captured his unhappy reaction to Ricky's controversial jokes at the Golden Globes. Later that year, Ricky commented on Tom's unimpressed reaction, accusing the famous actor of being on his high horse for not finding the jokes about woke culture funny. Speaking on the Stuff of Legends podcast in November 2020, Ricky mentioned, the big meme was Tom Hanks looking confused like, why is he saying that? People said he was on his high horse. But when Leonardo DiCaprio laughed, people loved him for it. What makes it worse is that some celebrities took the jokes well, like Leo who even laughed when Ricky teased him about dating much younger women. But others sit in the audience looking serious and not amused by the comedian. In 2022, Gervais also used Twitter to make light of the controversies surrounding the Golden Globes. When the 2022 Golden Globes were canceled by NBC due to diversity issues within the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, a fan proposed a special show where Gervais could roast Hollywood elites. Gervais responded humorously, continuing to poke fun at the situation. This interaction showed his willingness to comment on industry issues and his preference for addressing these matters with humor and sarcasm. And today in 2024, the conflict got even worse when Ricky Gervais made fun of Hollywood actors and their sense of superiority. As you know, the celebrities in the video keep calling themselves famous people and emphasize how important it is to vote, as long as it's not for Trump. Actor Don Cheadle called Trump a racist, abusive coward who could permanently damage our society. So that's when Gervais responded by filming himself in a bathtub and jokingly said, Ricky G here, wellness and beauty influencer. As a celebrity, I know about science and politics, so trust me on who you should vote for. If you vote the wrong way, it's like a hate crime and it makes me sad and angry. I'll leave this country and you don't want that. Of course, Ricky was criticizing celebrities for their political activities and he has a point here. And for now, there is no reason to think that this conflict will end anytime soon. We can surely expect new chapter in this conflict between Ricky and Hollywood in the near future. And that's it for today. For more interesting videos like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.